Welcome back to the channel, Matt here with you again, and this will be part four of our FSFO version five tutorial series in which we are gonna briefly discuss how you re re can record and use your own sound files. All right, to access the embedded FSFO recorder, it's quite easy from the FSFO main screen, just go to setup, look for sound, click on that, and then you'll be presented uh, with this recording screen right here. First thing you want to do is choose which uh, which pilot do you want to mimic? Do you want to be the pilot or do you want to be the first officer? You would then select uh, one or the other right here. And then you have to select which region do you want to put those sound files in? So I am uh, using English one and I want these sound files to, uh, to go uh, to my English one uh, captain folder. Meaning I want you to use the pre-recorded first officer sounds but I don't like the captain sounds. Instead, I want to use my own voice. So I want you to overwrite the captain sounds, but again, keep those first officer sounds. To record is quite easy. First, what you want to do is you want to decide if you want to record those in mono or stereo. I'm going to use stereo. I also like to clean my folder uh, first, and I can uh, do so by just clicking delete uh, waves. What that does is it deletes all my waves within my uh, recorded captain folder. So I know I'm starting now with fresh sounds that haven't been recorded. To record is quite easy. All you have to do is uh, hit the start button, in which case you will read the values that are associated uh, with this field right here, right here. So uh, in this case, we would just say zero. So let's go ahead and try zero. Notice when we hit stop, the record is done. Uh, FSFO created the WAV file. It turned this to green and it automatically iterated to the next wave item, which is one. Then we would just hit record again. One, stop, two, stop, so forth and so forth. So it's really quite easy to, uh, to record uh, sounds within FSFO. Once you have recorded all these sounds, um, you would then go ahead and choose your active region. Like I said, my active region right now is English one. Once you chose it, you would then click transfer files and which FSFO will do, it will take all your recorded sounds, which are stored in your FSO and your my documents, FSFO five sounds, the directory, the directory in which you chose. In this case, I chose captain. So those sound files that I just recorded are going to be uh, stored in my captain's folder. If I hit transfer uh, waves, what would happen is, FSFO would take these sound folders and move them over to the FSFO main directory and the captain uh, folder within the English one sound pack. So that is the quite simple way that you can choose to, uh, to edit or choose to record your own sound files literally in a matter of uh, minutes. I hope I made that easy for you. Now, if you're someone who likes to manipulate or you want to improve on those sounds, you want to, um, make them have like a radio effect or whatever it is you want to do. There are several programs out there that allow you to do so. I like to use Audacity. That is a freeware program with tons of YouTube tutorials on those that allow you to manipulate the WAV files that you just created to make them sound even more authentic. And there you can do whatever you want with them. I would just ask if you do choose to uh, record your own sound files that you consider uh, letting us know so we can upload those and making them possibly available to other FSFO users, especially if you're from a different region uh, and can offer uh, a little bit of um, uh, variety to FSFO. That would be very, very much appreciated. All right, that is it. That is the sound recording. Super easy. I uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful and we'll see you back for the practical example in part five.